it was day, Friday morning, early, Isa, Yeshaya, Jesus, after the prayer, assembled his disciples and said to them, Let us sit down, for even as on this day, El Law created man of the clay of the earth, even so will I tell you what a thing is man, if El Law please. When all were seated, Isa, Yeshaya, Jesus, said again, Our sustainer, to show to his creatures his goodness and mercy and his omnipotence, with his liberality and justice, made a composition of four things contrary the one to the other, and united them in one final object, which is man and this is earth, air, water, and fire in order that each one might temper its opposite. And he made of these four things a vessel, which is man's body, of flesh, bones, blood, marrow, and skin, with nerves and veins, and with all his man's inward parts. Wherein El Law placed the soul and the sense, as two hands of this life, giving for lodgment to the sense every part of the body, for it diffused itself there like oil, and to the soul gave he for lodgment the heart, where, united with the sense, it should rule the whole life. El Law, having thus created man, put into him a light which is called reason, which was to unite the flesh, the sense, and the soul in a single end to work for the service of El Law. Whereupon, he placing this work in paradise, and the reason being seduced of the sense by the operation of Satan, the flesh lost its rest, the sense lost the delight whereby it lives, and the soul lost its beauty. Man having come to such a plight, the sense, which finds not repose in labor, but seeks delight, not being curbed by reason, follows the light which the eyes show it. Whence, the eyes not being able to see aught but vanity, it deceives itself, and so, choosing earthly things, sins. Thus it is necessary that by the mercy of El Law, man's reason be enlightened afresh, to know good from evil, and to distinguish the true delight, knowing which, the sinner is converted to penitence. Wherefore I say to you truly, that if El Law our sustainer enlighten not the heart of man, the reasonings of men are of no avail. John answered, Then to what end serves the speech of men? Isa, Yeshaya, Jesus, replied, Man as man avails nothing to convert man to penitence, but man as a means which El Law uses converts man. So that recognizing El Law work by a secret fashion in man for man's salvation, one ought to listen to every man, in order that among all may be received him in whom El Law speaks to us.